A virus outbreak first reported in Kansas City is now exploding across the country. We first told you about hundreds of cases of the severe respiratory virus identified by Children's Mercy Hospital in recent weeks. Now at least a dozen states are reporting outbreaks that appear to be the same illness, and the CDC is jumping into action. It was actually doctors at Children's Mercy who urged the CDC to investigate in the first place because of what's been happening here. Now this virus, now labeled the worst outbreak of its kind in this country. I feel a lot better, <coughs> I guess, than well, when I came in. 12-year-old Weston Getterman of Bucyrus, Kansas, never expected to end up in intensive care at Children's Mercy Hospital. But his mild asthma-like symptoms escalated quickly. One minute in the doctor's office, the next in an ambulance. I was definitely scared when they said I was going to have to go to the hospital. But uh, then everybody was nice and they got me to make me feel better. Weston is still fighting the effects of the respiratory virus EV68. He's been here since last week. It's something that everybody needs to be aware of because it's not it's not good. It's not been a and he was perfectly healthy 24 hours before being in ICU. Your lungs are really tight. It some sometimes there's like feels like there's a big frog in your throat. Kind of just can't get it out. Respiratory distress, labored breathing, difficulty breathing is going to tip off parents, and parents have known when to bring their children into our hospital. Dr. Jackson is the one who first urged the CDC to investigate this outbreak. Now the entire country is on alert. And Dr. Jackson believes numbers locally are leveling off, but the outbreak definitely is not over. We've had about 500 cases now since the outbreak began right here in the metro. Now, Kelly, tell me about uh, the connection between children with asthma and this illness. Yeah, I think some folks maybe think it only is affecting children with asthma. That is not the case. They might see more severe symptoms, but actually a third of the patients diagnosed so far have never been diagnosed with asthma, so you really can't rule anyone out. And remember, starts out like a cold, escalates to difficulty breathing, and one of the best pieces of advice, as you've heard so often, good hygiene, good hand washing.